In this video, I'm doing a Ice Princess makeup tutorial. Not really a tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing kind of thing. Um, but it also sort of looks like mermaid as well. I think the two looks are sort of like interchangeable. But basically, I'm just gluing my eyebrows down. I've only really successfully do done this like a couple of times and I didn't use that same method today. So it sort of failed. And throughout like the video, you can definitely see my like brow hairs popping back through. But it didn't really matter because like I'm applying like dark eyes shadows and stuff around them um, I'm just applying a foundation to start off with that's a couple of shades too light for me it's the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour coverage foundation in the shade 3 true ivory so I'm just applying this everywhere and over the brows again and like I said the brows pretty much get covered up anyway so to me it didn't really matter that they are poking through Now I'm just using the Beauty Bay Bright Mattes palette and I'm just using pretty much all the blue shades in the palette. I kind of just swipe the brush up and down to create like the contour and the blush for this look. The only eyeshadows I use are literally just the ones from this palette. Now I'm sketching out my eyebrows and I'm using the shade Bobbin Along again in the same palette and I'm going to go over those in a minute with a blue eyeliner. This It's just one from NARS and that's just to sort of define them a bit more and throughout the video like I keep going back to it just to keep them defined and separate them from the eye makeup that I've done underneath. Now I'm just using Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipstick in Drug Lord just to carve out the eyebrows and this also, it being like a thick formula because obviously it's a lipstick, helps to just sort of cover up um, the rest of the brow hairs that are underneath. Like I said, it completely bloody failed with the covering the eyebrows but luckily everything that I was putting around them is pretty much dark. So now I'm just sort of filling in the eyebrows. As you can tell, I sort of skipped the eyeshadow that I was doing, but I show that again in a minute. And uh, yeah, so I'm just using the same sort of blue shades, like the whole row, and just including all of them in pretty much any of the, the eyebrows or the actual eye makeup. And I'm just using Fenty Beauty eyeliner in the shade Hot Tub Club to sort of add another dimension into the brows and also to sort of create like a fluffy effect at the front of the brows I do go off and wipe away that bit that's sticking up as well now I'm just showing the eyeshadow that I did I'm just intensifying a bit more I'm using the deepest shade which is the stormy night shade in the same palette just to cover up the last bit of those brow hairs that are coming through and then I'm using the shade bobbing along again and a mix of Pacific Dreams to sort of blend the deeper shade in with the lighter shade that I put down before. Now for the eye makeup, I didn't actually have any idea what I was going to do. I just knew that I wanted it to be mainly blues and that's pretty much all I was sort of going on. So throughout the video, you see me like put a colour down and then put concealer over the exact same colour again so there was pretty much no point in me doing it like I'm putting a purple down now this is just the shade Great Escape from the palette again <laughs> and I'm literally like in a second I'm just putting concealer over it and then applying like a pale blue shade onto it just to give it like some separation I guess like I really didn't know where I was going to go with this I was just sort of playing around seeing what I wanted to do but I knew I wanted to keep it all dark pretty much and I'm using the Fenty eyeliner again and I'm sort of creating this like above the lid and then connecting it with an actual like generic eyeliner shape like this. Um, and now I'm just applying some glitter. This is from Wiki Lashes, which is like an indie brand on Instagram. I'm still not sure how to fully pronounce it. I don't know if it's Wiki Lashes or Vicky Lashes, but basically they just sell loose, glitch, loose glitter, Jesus Christ, loose glitter as well as lashes. And I'm just applying this with a collection glitter glue, which is literally so cheap. 
but it actually works amazing. And now I'm just going in with that dark stormy nightshade again and I'm just blending this into my hairline. I will be wearing a wig later um, and I genuinely can't remember if you actually are able to see this or not or if it blends in but I just sort of put it there anyway. And now I'm using Jeffree Star Cosmetics Frostbite Liquid Frost as a highlighter and I'll also use it on my collarbones and everything later on. The lashes that I'm using are in the style Victoria by the brand Wiki Lashes. You can get 10% off these at checkout when you purchase them online. If you just use my code, it's on a highlight somewhere on my Instagram, but I'll put it in the video now. I'm just using Drug Lord again for my bottom lashes and also the waterline eyeliner. I was blinking loads because it was really irritating my contact lenses, but I really like how this came out. The silver flakes that I'm using are just from Festival Face. I got them off Beauty Bay and they were in the sale as well, which is really good because obviously it's not really the season for festival makeup. But both the silver flakes and the gems that you'll see in a moment are both from there. Quite inexpensive and I think they sort of completed the look. I think the silver flakes were definitely my favourite part about this. So this is the finished look now. It is in natural lighting so you can't really see the full sort of glittery and like shiny nature of everything. But on the pictures, on my Instagram, they are taken on flash so you can see them there. But yeah, this was a really fun look to do. It wasn't that time consuming. I think it was more just the fact that I didn't really know what I was going to do. I didn't have a plan. So the most of the time was me sort of like messing about, covering stuff up like with the eyes and everything. But no, I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. If you would like and comment if you want to on the Instagram post, I'm trying to get to 300 followers by Halloween. There is a few more looks that I want to do. But yeah, I really liked how this came out to be honest. Peep the brown hair that's coming out near my ear.